Welcome to the Digital Twin Design Challenge instructional video. This tutorial will walk you through the basic steps of how to get started. After clicking on the register button from the starting contest page, you'll be taken to the iTunes viewer sign in page where you'll be prompted to click here to get started. If you aren't already logged in, it'll take you to the login page where you can sign in using your registered Bentley account. After clicking on the button, the application will request permissions from your account allowing the creation of your own iTwin viewer for your project. You can just hit allow here and it should take you back to the starting page. The application will automatically prepare your iTwin viewer for use and forward you an email associated to your Bentley account. Now opening our email that was just sent, you'll again be prompted with another big button and giving that a click should open a new page that will start launching your iTwin viewer. Give the viewer a moment to load and you'll be immediately prompted to the first step of the challenge, which is selecting a location for your structure. If you click the locations drop down menu here, the locations you see in your viewer may be different from what you see in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and select Alcatraz Island, USA for this demonstration. You can use the middle mouse button to zoom into your Reality Mesh to give you a better look of the location you'll be building your model for. You can even play with the buttons at the top right corner, the viewer to rotate, and pan the camera. Once you're ready, click Next Step, where you can start jumping into uploading your model. Before you're able to upload, you'll need to accept the terms of usage by clicking on this link here. This will open a new page and should prompt you with additional permissions our service requires in order to allow this application to upload your model. Scroll down and clicking on allow will give the necessary permissions for our synchronization service. You can exit out this window and head back to the iTunes viewer page. The upload service accepts a file format called .obj, which is a common 3D model file format we can export directly from Minecraft. This is where we want to jump into the Minecraft game for this demonstration, I'll be using the Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.17.1 .1, and some quick tips when you create your world if you're starting from scratch. You want to change the mode to Creative, change Difficulty to Peaceful, and allow Cheats on so you won't need to chat, scavenge for your building materials. Under More World Options, you want to change the world type to Super Flat to make things very easy for you. I'm going to name this world the digital twin design challenge and click on create new world it will create a blank flat canvas for you in creative mode and you can start going ahead and start building your minecraft structure once you're satisfied with your structure you will need to export it as a 3d model to do that we're going to be using Mineways, an open source application that will export your structure as a 3d model in the obj format you can access the Mineways page by giving it a quick google or going to realtimerendering.com and start by downloading the appropriate Mineways version for your operating system i'm going to download the windows version since i am on windows and let's give that a moment to complete the download with Mineways download completed and extracted, we'll want to navigate into the folder and start the Mineways application. This is an open source application, so Windows might give you a warning. You can just ignore this by going to More Info and clicking on Run Anyway. To start off the Mineways application, you'll want to go to File, Open World, and select the world that you created for this challenge. You'll see my blank world and a small village that came with it. You can hold left click to pan the camera and use middle mouse to zoom in and out. Once you see your building and you're satisfied with the camera, you can hold right click. Mineways might, might prompt you with some information about depth. The default is OK. You can hit OK here and target the area of interest. Once you're satisfied with the area, go to File export for rendering and choose a location where you want this saved i'm going to name this digital twin design challenge and this will be saved as the default.obj file which is again the common 3d model file format we'll be using for the itwin viewer hit save 
You'll then be prompted with a bunch of options for the export. By default, each block is one meter in real world measurements. You can modify these. All of these defaults are fine. The only one that will make your life much easier is the toggle for make Z the up direction instead of Y. This is so your model will be upright when it gets uploaded into the viewer. You'll also notice we didn't specify depth yet, and by default, the minimum Y height is set to three if you're on a super flat world, which will actually take the grass below it. So you can increase the depth here to ignore the ground level by setting it to five. If you're on a super flat world, this might change if you're in your own world or whatnot, but setting it to five here with the super flat world should be sufficient. I'm going to hit okay, and that should give us our exported files. Once your files have been generated after export, open the file explorer to your files and navigate back to your iTunes viewer page. You'll notice the exporter generated three different file types, the .obj, which is our standard 3D object file format, a .mtl file, which provides mapping for the textures in your PNG files. You'll need all these files uploaded to get color on your structure. Just a quick tip, if you're on Microsoft Windows, you can use Microsoft 3D Viewer to preview the model before you upload. Here I'm using the 3D Viewer, but any OBJ visualizer will do. You'll notice the village I exported, and because I increased the minimum depth level to five, you'll only see the buildings and not the ground level grass blocks. So if you see something wrong with your model, you can go back into Minecraft or the Mineways exporter, change the settings and get what you want. Going back to the file explorer, once you're happy with your model, you'll want to target all your files and simply drag and drop them into your browser. The upload can take up to five minutes depending on the size and traffic, but you can go ahead and take a break here. The page will automatically refresh once completed. So now that we have the file uploaded, the page should have refreshed and taken you to the next step, which is positioning your structure. You'll notice my model is a little too large for the Alcatraz Island and slightly floating above it, which is less than ideal. So let's fix that by positioning and adjusting accordingly. I'm going to click on the scale bar right here and lowering the size by a few factors using the arrow keys. I'm going to move it to the left of the X axis by a few units and the Y axis up a bit. It's still floating just slightly, so I'm going to lower it with the Z axis here right onto the ground level. And just to make things a little more symmetrical, I'm going to adjust the rotation. And there we go. Our building right on top of Alcatraz Island. And once you're satisfied, you'll want to hit save and it will save the position of your model. Going on to the next step, this step asks you to name your structure and give it a brief description. I'll name this design twin test model and give it a description hello to all contestants. It should automatically save, but let's hit save anyways. And once completed, we go on to our final step, which is sharing your model. At this point, you've pretty much completed the design portion of the challenge and your viewer is ready for submission. You'll be submitting a URL that points to your viewer with the intended location and camera angle that you saved. And you can get that URL by clicking on the copy your public link button right here. You can also go ahead and share your model with your friends and family using this link that you just copied. If I paste it in the new tab, they'll, they'll be able to open the viewer pointing to your Minecraft structure and view the description and the name of what you named it or what you labeled it as, and also see the view that you saved initially. From here, you don't need to worry. They won't be able to modify it, but they can look around and admire your hard work. And just a quick note at any time, you can always go back to your email link and upload a new model if you feel like this one doesn't suit your needs or satisfy your requirements, simply dragging and dropping a new set of OBJs, PNGs, and MTLs will overwrite this one and give you a brand new model that will be mapped to your location. You can also go back and change your positioning, changing the location at any time you want, and again, clicking save when you're satisfied 
with how you've placed it. So this concludes our tutorial. If you made it this far, congratulations. We look forward to your creations and hope you have fun during the contest.